She's got a long ass schnoz. Holy shit. Hello everybody and welcome back to The Sims 4. Uh, now in the last episode we ended up joining a club of hipsters, unfortunately. And, oh my goodness, he disappeared. And in today's episode, we are gonna just kinda be a menace to them. Um, let's just hop right on in. But first things first, because I started to do this in the last episode, but then they asked me if I wanted to join the club. So we're going to go to the Robertson household. I brought Tyler and Stacy with me. Don't ask me why I did that. I just kind of did. I don't know. Wh where, where are you going, Stacy? She's crossing the street, and then Tyler's texting her, being like, where the hell are you going, Stace? But yeah, I wanted to see if I get kicked out of their house, if I start making food and, like, sleeping in their beds and shit. We're just making ourselves a garden salad real quick, and we'll see if they have anything to say. If they do, I'm gonna hit them with the, I used to live here. Here we go, this is inappropriate, please fucking stop. And in comes JC. She's not mad though, she doesn't care. Major's the one that cares. Major's the one that's like, dude, I fucking told you to get out of here. Yet you still keep coming the fuck back. Well listen Major, one of these days I'm gonna get myself a better house. You're gonna be wanting to live with me, and I'll be like, no, 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 no. But you know what? I'm gonna give, I'm gonna have a deep conversation with JC. Yeah, sometimes I just think about, like, you know, life and stuff, and like how I used to live here, but now I'm out on the street because of your bitch ass roommate, Major. You know what we need to do to get back at him? She left! I didn't get to finish what I was gonna say. Where is she? JC, come back! All right, I'm gonna try flirting with her. We're gonna see if this... Yeah, sit down right next to her and hit her with the flirt. Ooh, she was into it. So I guess if we're not related, we're just two people to happen to have... Everybody in this house happens to have the same last fucking name. I'm gonna ask her if she's single. Even though I know she is, because she was telling me about her date with uh, Dominic Fires. Edward has learned that JC is indeed single. That I already know, but I guess Edward didn't know that. So now I'm gonna flirt with her again. We're gonna see how that works. See if we get that little pink bar underneath. Yes! I'm gonna give you that pickup line. She was into it. Okay. When that when's that pink there's the fucking pink bar. Now I'm gonna give her a sexy pose because I'm flirty. Gotta give her two tickets to the gun show. Yeah, yeah, you like them scrawny arms? Ooh, ooh, she blew a kiss my way. Let's go, Edward. Maybe you and Megan Fox were not meant to be. Yeah, do your push-ups because you're excited. Where the hell'd she go? All right, let's have our first kiss. JC, come here. We gotta have our first kiss. And we gotta go have sex on Major's bed. Yes! JC and Edward are having their very first kiss. Yeah! She was enthralled. <laughs> and he's just like, yeah, yeah, I did that. Can we woo? Well, Major's happy for us, so that's good. I'm gonna offer her a red. I gotta get that pink bar up, because we gotta have sex on his bed. Okay, she enjoyed our rose. Did that pink bar go up at all? What's our current romantic? It's too early to tell if there could definitely be something there. I think there is something there. I think this is finally happening. Let me embrace her. Yeah, we're sharing a loving embrace. Can we? Yeah. No, but I can whisper seductively. Hey, let me whisper sweet nothings into your ear. She, this whole time, like, she was with Dominic. Because, like, the last time she saw me, I had my big freak out and Major kicked me out the house. But she still had faith in me. And I think when she was going out with Dominic, she really was wishing she was going out with me. Meanwhile, I was pining over her for the past couple months as I was sitting here in my empty lot. Just like, oh, JC, we might be related. So this doesn't feel right. But then he found out that they were not related. He took a 23 in me. Oh my goodness. It's time. Where's Major's bed? Okay, this is Major's bed. So we're going to kick him out and we're going to have sex in his bed. And the best part is he won't kick me out because it's JC in here. All right, Major. Yeah, you need to get the fuck out of here, dude. Go. Oh, he's got. Yeah, you got to take a shit. So go take a shit. Yeah, you, you ready to do this? I kicked Major's ass out. Fuck yeah. Major, can you can you stop staring at the wall? Can you please get the fuck on. Major, can you leave? Oh my God, that was an ordeal. 
Oh yeah, now he's going to take a shit. Oh. No, just you stay. You you leave your room to us. The, her pink bar went up a lot because we had to try and woohoo like three different fucking times. Major wouldn't get the fuck out of here. And he had to jump up out of the covers real quick, change into his PJs, and then jump back down. It's happening. There was sexual tension all last year, and then when he got kicked out of the house, it exacerbated things. Because, you know, you want what you can't have. Like Ario Speedwagon said, I can't fight this feeling anymore. That was that was a wonderful time, JC. I'm, I'm very happy. Oh, let me go downstairs and make some damn breakfast. At 12.39 in the morning, I mean, what is he eating? He's eating applesauce. Oh, that is a breakfast of champions. And now we're ready to go to bed. So we're gonna kick Major's ass out of this bed and then we're gonna lay down in this bed. We're getting some revenge, baby. What are you do- Yeah, get the fuck out of here. And I'm trying to sleep. Leonard's house is- he's taking a break. He's taking a much deserved rest. I wanted to sleep in my old stomping ground. Alright, 7.20 in the morning, we just woke up and then we're gonna go downstairs. We're gonna kiss JC, give her like a little good morning kiss. Hey, how you doing, beautiful? Uh, and now she's making fun of Major, because he's a piece of shit. And now he's talking about, oh, he wants to have sex in a rocket ship. Yo, listen, a geek town might still be in town. Now, I'm going to take a damn bath. Ain't nobody kicking me out now. He is having a good time playing in the tub. But we do need to go to the Esquire household, because... The Robertson household doesn't have a computer. I can't write books at their house, so I gotta come here. Because, you know, we, we gotta make some money. Low Leonard's on that computer. Holly's on that computer. All right, I'm gonna kick one of them off. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Catch a tiger by the toe. If he hollers, let him go. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. All right, little Leonard, you're getting kicked off. The Land Grab Power Company has shut off the power to your house. Pay the bills to get it turned back on. That's fine. I don't have any power anyway. Okay, so this book's called Me and JC Had Sex. It's in all capitals because I I was very excited. I was pining after her for the past, like, half of a year. I missed her when I got kicked out of the house. But, you know, when things are meant to be, things come back around. So let this be an uplifting story to you all. And after that, we're going to eat something. I think after this, we got to go home and tend to our crops. Major Robertson is wondering if I want to go over to his house and hang out. Will JC be there? I'm going to actually say no to that right now because I do want to finish this book in one sitting so I can make some more money. All right. And he has finished another fucking book. I don't know why I had to just drop an F-bomb right down. I am so sorry. I'm so vulgar. This is not a family friendly. Why the hell is Major calling me? I have a crush on a Magdalena Dickinson. Do you think it's worth a try? Fuck yeah. Go for it. I want to see what he had to say. He had nothing to say. That's some fucked up shit. All right, we're back home. We need to publish this damn book. We're going to self-publish that shit. And then can we tend to our crops? They're just sitting here. They're being pains in the fucking ass. They're not growing. It's been like a week. It's actually, it's been like fucking months. All right, what can I do with the club? Can I like go to the club place? No, that's my event calendar. Ain't nothing to do with clubs there. Fuck yeah, we're going to gather at South Square Coffee. All right, so here's what I'm going to do. Gunther? Gunther, my dude. Wait, Gunther, where are you going? Gunther's the most hipstery of the bunch, so I need to make an example with him. I'm gonna trick him with the hand buzzer. All right, stop reading. You gotta go talk to Gunther. I ain't talking about like the you touch my tra la la, Gunther. <laughs> Fuck you, Gunther. <laughs> you bitch. Don't laugh along, it ruins my joke. Now I'm gonna scare him. Because, you know, hipsters, they scare easily. All right, stop talking to me about. <laughs> <laughs> Bitch! Alright, come here. What's your name? Mike Haas. I'm gonna get you with the hand buzzer. Hey, Mike. Mike. Me Meek. <laughs> That's what you get. She's got a long ass schnoz. Holy shit. Wait, is that candy? Yo, Candy, what are you doing here? Give her a friendly introduction. Yo, I'd rather join Spin Masters, because they seem like they're cool. Over here, they, these are like the people that think they're cool, but they're really just dorks. Yo, what's up, Candy? Long time no see. Actually, no time no see, I think, because I don't think Edward's ever met her. Okay, goodbye. Alright, you're next. 
I'm a menace. Okay, who else is a part of this club? Hugo, I gotta get Hugo. I'm not stopping until I trick every one of you with the hand buzzer. Who the fuck is this? That's amazing. Kenneth Franz. I wanna be his friend. I'm gonna give him a friendly introduction after I shock Hugo. Oh, he's waiting for him. He's making Hugo come to him. <laughs> he looks so fucking mad that I just did that. He is not a fan that I did that. Good. That's what you get. Right, I want to fight Gunther. I'm probably going to get kicked out of the club for this, but I don't care. You're trash, bro. This whole club is trash. That's right. I fucking said it. You're just going to sit there and take it? I Damn right you are, because you're a fucking beta. All right, I'm going to yell at him again. I'm going to mock his outfit. There we go. Yo, Gunther. Your outfit's fucking stupid. Did, did your mommy pick that one out for you? Oh, he's angry now. <laughs> he's angry. Having an abhorrent conversation. All right, now to jeer him. I don't know what jeering means. Now they're having a chat. I don't want to have a chat, okay? This is an abhorrent conversation. I just want to jeer you. I, I'm just going to fucking insult him. Yeah, you're a damn hipster, dude. That's to fucking get, get out of here. Can I fight him yet? I want to trash somebody else in the club. I'm going to trash May Toss. Yeah, her fucking nose is humongous. Now, oh, no. Now she does. She heard that and she's... Oh, now he's being mean to her. I agree. Mike is not so great. She is not cool. What the fuck? Yo, I am just causing major drama. I'm going to quit avant-garde, but before that, I'm going to fight him. Now, she's mad because I trashed her nose. She's going to saunter off. No, I don't want to chat. I, I do want to eat, but first I want to insult this bitch. I'm going to imply his mother is a llama. That never fails. All right, fucking stand up because every time he sits down, he, he just turns into a fucking conversation with a lot of people. All right, just and now imply his mother is a llama. It's not that hard. Don't be sad. He's sad because he's hungry. I know. Don't fucking sit down. See, now it's turning into a chat with Eric and Gunther. Are you Eric? Eric, can you, like, fuck off, please? Right, I'm going to get some food because I'm hungry. Oh, my God. I guess I'll get a croissant. I, I need to give the room time to clear out anyway. I'm going to take a shit when I'm done eating. So right, you'll make the money back. Oh, my God. Do I got to order another croissant? Did that shit really not fill me up? I right, get another croissant, and then where's the bathroom? Here's the bathroom. Is she mad at me? Okay, she's not mad at me. She's mad at Gunther. Where is Gunther? It's over here reading a damn book like a true hipster. To, okay, well, you know what? This is good. He stopped shitting straight up to imply that Gunther's mom is a llama. And he just can't even stand to be within the vicinity of him, so he's sitting here next to Mike. I don't know how to pronounce that. I am very sorry, guys. Fucking yell at him, and what else am I gonna do? Mock his outfit again. Uh, I'm gonna jeer at him, which again, I don't know what the fuck jeering is, but I'm doing it. And once that bar gets low enough, we're fighting. Alright, is it time? We can fight! It's time, baby! Get your scrawny hipster ass over here. I mean, I'm also scrawny, but I'm not a hipster. Let's go! We're fighting! Fuck out of here, Gunther! It's a fight! Fight! Yo, place your bets right now. I think Edward's got this. No, he lost to a hipster. All right, you just. I'm gonna. I'm gonna go home now. I, I'm not gonna be able to live this down for a little bit. He's so dazed. He's having a good conversation with Gunther. Oh shit! I stayed out too late. But oh, my plants are growing. Let's go. I think tomorrow I'll be able to do some gardening shit. But for right now, I hope it's not too late to go to the Esquire house. Alright, let's see. It's 11.30. He might let me in. He might not. I don't know. Come on in. Let's go. <laughs> Nearly midnight, but he don't give a fuck. I don't want to get kicked out, so we're just going to have a microwave quick. We're going to have some chicken nuggets. Because I would really like to stay the night here. I don't want to get kicked out again. Leonard already, like, hates me. Our shit's in the red. I don't want to fight him, though, because I like Leonard. Damn, those chicken nuggets filled him the fuck up. And uh, you're going to not do anything with that because they have a maid. What's he doing? He's going to backflow. 
You're not going to backflow. You're going to go to bed. I assigned that bed to you. I think it's already unassigned because you like left the house, but it's, it's your bed. You claimed it. Everybody else sleeps upstairs in the like adult beds. Oh, fuck. We finally got found out. He said this is inappropriate. Oh, no. And he's going to be getting up soon. Little Leonard disturbed my sleep. You got found out. It's okay. Let's go home and see if the garden needs any tending. All right, back at home. No, there's still none of my plants need any gardening. But you know what? We haven't visited Terry yet, I don't think, as Edward. I mean, he does live. <laughs> I invited Gunther. We would rather not come. Come on in. Thank you, Terry. He's got his cop uniform on because he's already getting ready to go to work. And Terry left for the day. You know what, though? This is good. That means I'm going to make some food. I'm going to clean out his spoiled food. Yo, it's the dude with the afro. That's, again, perfectly fine. I, I live on an empty lot. I don't have any electricity or water or anything. Oh, let's go. Me and JC had sex, made $19. And then I'm homeless, bro, made $17. i am going to bang Megan Fox, made $2. I guess that book's been obsolete now because now... I banged JC, and she's much more into it than Megan Fox is. And then the other one, I think, was $6. Finally, getting to eat a full-ass meal. This shit's going to make us full. And it's wonderful. And I forgot that Terry just has books lying everywhere. Hey, welcome to Avant Guards, Edward. I'm writing this at Terry's house while Terry's working, LOL. That's going to be the book that we're writing today. And I think Mike or whatever invited me. And she's like, welcoming me to the club. But uh, I don't know how much longer I'm going to be in that club. Guess what? My day with Magdalena Dickinson went very well. That's great, Major. I'm so happy to hear that. I got to go on a date with JC, actually. This is another book I want to try and write. I want to try and write it all in one sitting. Because we got to wait for Terry to come home anyway. Because before I end the video, I definitely want to uh, meet Terry and everything. But I don't think he comes home until like 4 p.m., what do you want, Major? Nobuya Sasaki and I are planning to spend some casual friend time. Uh, to be honest, I'm not sure. Chapter 3. Terry has left the house. I know it we're three chapters in and we're just now getting to the good shit. But you know what? Sometimes it, it's called storytelling. You gotta start off with a little bit of boring shit. Because you gotta set everything up. Like the Avengers doesn't just start off with them beating Thanos' ass. You don't get to the good shit. Like in this case, Terry leaving the house. You don't get to that for a little bit. Like, you ever watch a movie, right? The first, like, 20 minutes, it's all, like, they're just setting everything up. They're telling you, like, what's about to go down. And then, and then shit goes down. I think Terry just finished his book. And you still got some time before Terry comes home. So you're going to make yourself... I want you to serve a meal. They're going to serve BLTs. Hopefully Terry doesn't come home while you're making it. Like, oh, this is inappropriate. Please stop. Oh. Yes! You dirtied up his counter. Don't clean it. And the BLTs are done. We're going to put those BLTs in our inventory. Where is Terry? Okay, there's just fucking children walking around the neighborhood. Now, let's just practice on the piano for a little bit. Oh, Terry's been home. Oh, he's mad. Ah, oh, shit. Did a perp get away? Hey, Terry, how's it going? Can I, can I try and cheer you up? I'm going to try and calm you down. Because Terry needs more friends, dude. Everybody fucking hates Terry. Uh, oh, okay, he's telling me about his shitty-ass day at work. Terry, I am so incredibly sorry to hear that, man. But listen, here, I'll, I'll, I'll share photos with you. Damn, why is he getting mad at me? All right, now let's... Oh, we can sell the publisher now! Yes! All right, we're gonna sell that. Now, each day, ever we a moderate amount of royalties. That's fucking awesome. But that is gonna be the end of the video. Thank you, guys. So much for watching. We'll be back next week with a premiere. We got more of the quarry coming next week. Stay tuned for that. Thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed. And I'll catch you guys next week. Peace.